May from the plaza's implosion. It happens tomorrow morning and all eyes will be on Atlantic City as a piece of history crumbles to the ground. Matt Petrillo has a reaction from some of Trump Casino's former employees. When the Trump Plaza opened back in 1984, it was the biggest gambling hall here in Atlantic City. It had more than 600 hotel rooms and stood 39 stories tall. But take a look behind me today, it's just a skeleton of the old casino. As crews prepare for Wednesday's implosion of the former Trump Plaza, many people are coming by to get one last look of it. Got a lot of great memories. Some I remember, some I don't, some I can't tell. It's kind of sad, you know, remembering the, what it was. It's sad that it's come to this. At its heyday in the mid-1990s, the beachfront property turned into a big employer, having roughly 6,100 people on staff. The casinos had employed so many people that all of a sudden Egg Harbor Township had a boom in uh, housing. Susie DiPietro was a public relations executive for the Trump properties from 1991 to 2002. It was, I'll tell you what, the best job I ever had. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a good job. Van Jones worked in the food and beverage department at Trump Plaza from 2005 to 2014. He never met Trump, but his dad, who worked at the plaza as a slot attendant in the 1980s, did. He didn't ask what his name was. He just uh, walked over to my dad, put his hand on his shoulder, and looked at him and said, is everything all right? My dad said yes, and then Trump just walked away. The old casino welcomed celebrities and gamblers alike, but after 30 years, it shut nah, down. Nah, hold on. Eyewitness News was there when it closed its doors for good back in 2014. At the time, Trump's stake in the property diminished to just 10%. From what I know, they just used his name for marketing. A lot of people are happy to see it come down because they dislike him, which... That's fine. You can dislike him, you know, all you want. But to me, it has nothing to do with him. It's sort of poetic justice to what had happened to the entire Trump uh, empire. Started out pretty strong, and now the last vestiges of it are are um, are being imploded. And if you want to watch the implosion in person, people can park at Bader Field for ten dollars. The gates open seven o'clock Wednesday morning. In Atlantic City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. You can watch the implosion live on our streaming service, CBSN Philly. Right now, it's scheduled to take place at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Our crews will be there. We'll have full reports tomorrow starting on Eyewitness News mm -hmm. at noon. More